Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to explain how we can detect key events in JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright people, so this is how we can detect key events in JavaFX. There's one of a few ways in which we can implement this. I found that the easiest way is just to add an event handler to our scene directly within our start method, but there's a few changes that we're going to make to our current code. We're going to instantiate an instance of a loader object using our fxml file. So let's precede parent root with this line of code. fxml loader, we will call this object loader equals new fxml loader and within the constructor pass in get class, get resource, the name of your fxml file and mine is named scene.fxml. Now we're going to change parent root equals get rid of all this and we will use the load method of our loader object. This will load an object hierarchy from an XML document. One way in which we can access the properties and methods of a controller is to create and instantiate a controller object within our start method. So let's add that maybe here. Controller, whatever the name of your controller class is, let's call this controller equals, and we need to use our loader object, loader dot get controller. So this will create an instance of a controller object for us, and this controller object has access to any properties and methods found within your controller class that are defined within. So let's define a few methods. Let's say we have a method named moveup, and let's print something. System.out.println, moving up, move down, moving down, move left, Move in left, then move right. That's probably all we'll need here. Move in right. Okay, now with our scene, we're going to add an anonymous event handler. So after we declare our scene, let's type scene dot set on key pressed and we can pass in an event handler, new event handler, and we're going to list a generic type of key event, then add a set of parentheses, then curly braces, and be sure to add any unimplemented methods. So when our scene detects a key event, it will call this handle method. I'm just going to rename this argument as event. Now within our handle method, let's just be sure that everything's working by testing it. Let's display the code of the event that occurs that is handled. So type the name of your argument event dot get code. So when we run this, if I was to press on a key, it's going to display the key code. So W A S D up, down, left, right, space, enter. Feel free to play around with that. This means that we can use the getCode method of our event argument so we can detect what key is pressed. So within our handle method, let's write a switch. So let's create a switch and we are going to examine event.getCode. And depending on what key is pressed, we will call a method from our controller. And we already instantiated an instance of our controller, so we have access to these properties and methods found within this class. So let's create a switch, and we need a couple different cases. Case up. So what we'll do is take our controller object that we instantiated near the top here, and we will call the move up method, and then break. Okay, let's do the same thing for down, left, and right, but I'm just gonna copy this. So we have up, down, move down, then we have left, move left, then right, move right. We should probably add a default case too. So default, just break. Okay, let's test this. I'm going to press up, down, left, right, moving up, 
down, left, right. Cool. We can also change this to different keys as well. Let's say to move up, we're going to press the W key. Down will be S, left is A, right is D. This time I'm gonna press W, A, S, D. That's one way in which we can detect key events is to add an anonymous event handler directly to our scene. Now you could shorten this to a Lambda expression. If we were to do that, we would write event, then an arrow, get rid of your handle method, but keep the code within. And let me just move this together. So this would also work too. W, A, S, D. So in conclusion, everybody, that is one way in which we can detect key events. We can add an anonymous event handler or a Lambda expression directly to our scene using the set on key pressed method. If you would like a copy of all this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how to detect key events using JavaFX.